Now at noon, amputees may soon have the ability to experience touch again. Engineers at FIU developed new technology, which was just approved by the FDA for the first ever inhuman trial. Most of us take it for granted, the sensation of touching hair versus, say, touching rubber or plastic. Even without looking, we can tell if a bottle of water is empty or full. Arm and hand amputees can't. They can grab, but not feel, which could have crushing results. FIU is looking to change that with this. There are electrodes which are fine wires that are as thin as a human hair that are sewn inside the nerve. Ten years of research and development have led to this device, recently approved by the FDA for inhuman testing. This was inside the arm, and then on the outside you need to communicate. So this is the outside part, and there's a magnet. A magnet puts the implant in contact with sensors inside the prosthetic hand that communicates the size of the object in its grasp and how fragile it is. Think about holding an egg. If you didn't, you don't have any sensation about it, could you just pick up an egg? You would crush it. You would crush it. Think about a cookie. Same for a grape. It's all important information that would help the amputee control the prosthetic and once again feel. You will feel things. Think about us, you know, when we touch something, you we have a texture. Dog. Yes, or you touch somebody's face. Just how sensitive the sensors are remain to be seen through this trial. Incredible technology that they're working on there at FIU. And Dr. Jung says that her FIU graduate students are working with her on this project. If the first inhuman trial in amputees goes well, it would move on to clinical trials, and then they would seek approval to make this available in the market.